Hey, Craftsdorf, did you meet... Ha have you met... Craftsdorf, have you met my friend Howard? No. Is it something backwards? No, have you met my friend Howard? Is my, is my question. Have you met Howard? So, hello and welcome to the uh, Howard second last episode. Howard Deuce Nuts! <laughs> the, uh... The Weep Club for <laughs> summer. We're almost to the fall, and we've been recording fall for, like, a, a fucking year or so now like we haven't been uploading for a year but we've been recording for about a yeah. year it's, yeah we've been recording for over a year which is cool as hell I want to somehow die. we've made it this far we haven't killed each other killing we haven't other. died Not yet. No, today's we've the day, only though. had like we've only had like wildfires and hurricanes so we haven't died of natural disaster well i died of almonds and other means but you know i'm, Thank I'm fine god i made it we're good no i i actually hate look oh, fuck i forgot what happened since the last fucking episode. I'm so mad at every single fucking person in the comments and every single fucking person on Reddit. How about we I'm just ignore talk. it and never talk about it again? Oh, so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll, you know? <laughs> just get them all out of the way right now. Uh, I'm going to yeah. close my eyes. Look, I'm close my ears. Just, just, you know what, Vindy? It's okay if you want to drink hair. It's fine. It's perfectly fine if you want to drink hair. That's all I'm saying. It all out of the way now. I don't want to. I don't want to make Craftsdorf kill himself. Well, I do. Again. I do. But I, I want him. I want. I want this old man dead. I. 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 All I'm gonna say is. I want this old man dead. Everyone's wrong. Okay. Yeah, you're free to think that. Got yeah, hey, Craftsdorf. I found this comment by a fucking baby going. I fucking read about this fucking argument. If you disagree, you're wrong. This is not up for debate. It's not a baby. That's a rat, actually. Well, anyway. Uh, dot comments. If this episode isn't proof that Vinny should never have left slacking off and joined the Weeb Club, I don't know what is. You know what? Maybe. Maybe. Speaking as the friend of the creator who peaked when he made We're All Normies, the greatest video on YouTube, you know? Okay. So... You don't know how much happiness I felt when they pretty much skipped the God of High School. <laughs> God, you have no idea how much happiness I felt when we skipped God of High School. It's and great guess knowing what? That if we skip we're it, gonna I do don't have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> guess what we're going to do this week? I don't know. No, what are you talking about? there was a about? dragon this week, so I want to talk about oh, it. Oh, the dragon! So, there were dra okay, I love this comment from Board Burrito, because I'm going to turn it into a uh, a call to action, where he says, can't wait for you guys to talk about Kuma 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 Bears. Here's the thing, boys. Kuma 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 Bears is in trouble. It's in jeopardy. Because there's a show next season that has rat in the summary and a girl with rat ears. So I might have to pick that over Kuma 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 Bears. And it's not winning the Patreon poll. So I need everyone to go patron the Weeb Club and vote for it for me. Guys, Natty comments, the Evo disrespect, can't believe it. Maybe those kids were Yoshi players. Do you guys get that? doesn't get that one, so you're going to have to explain it. Uh, I kind of get it. You're going to have to explain that one, Vindy. No. What okay. doesn't get it either? <laughs> That's a, there's three people who don't get it and are <laughs> trying to fish for something see, else. Well, I don't know. I, I see, part of it is I, I assume it has to do with like the sexual assault and shit going on in the Smash community. Um, but see, no, wait, well, that was that? a joke last time. Wait, no. But, so what were the, but the Yoshi only, players? The oh, only is, Yoshi, is Yoshi player Yoshi I know player? of in... In yeah, Amsa, Melee right? is Amsa, who's not a... He's a good boy. Yeah, so maybe one of the players who was called out was Yoshi, not a notable Yoshi player, but or like not a not a big name, but like a, a Yoshi player. I don't know. Uh, Natty, explain yourself. Um, no, Natty got dumpster on fighters by me. Only oh, one yeah. time. But you know what? It was fucking... It was something. Uh, um, what Afro's comments, we should start keeping track of how long it takes crafts to, to want to die after an episode starts. If it gets too low, we may, we might have to start worrying about him. No, nah, no, listen. You guys think it takes him a while to want to die? 
when he starts recording, he already wants to die. He just says it lit in the podcast to like for like comedic effect. All right, all of us want to die on this podcast, me included. In all honesty, if we, it was like gun to your head, I'm holding the gun. If you say the wrong answer, I pull the trigger. Um, like who wants to die the least on the podcast? It's probably Craftsworth. Now, yeah, and then yeah. ironically, I die all the time. So <laughs> now, now here's what I will say. I, I will make this concession. I would believe that in terms of, um, like, the percentage of wanting to die, right? Like, if what and I are at, like, 99% wanting to die all the time, right? We can't really go, like, we only have, like, 1% up we can go on wanting to die when we record, right? But if Crafts is, <laughs> like, 15 and recording the Weeb Club makes him go to, like, a 67, like, that's a much bigger jump than we feel like recording the Weeb Club. Someone go so to like, Future and, like, <laughs> download and then come come back with the episode, like, the we the, the the main channel video craft store video the weeb club gave me depression <laughs> <laughs> well if it at least doesn't give you depression that sounds like a side you know channel never mind like. <laughs> no that sounds like a main channel video for me <laughs> um, um so are we done with the comments on the cover show um, we moved to overlord Mad- uh, no there was i wanted to on the wet afros one i wanted to say i really like scooch studios uh response it's all fun and games until crafts doesn't appear in the next episode <laughs> Bye, crafts. No <laughs> what? Uh, oh yeah. Um, yo, Vindy, I want you to read Dot's other comment in a bit. But anyway, Mad Track says, "I get it. The theme is inherited will. The Weeb Club too inherited the will to BSA. So whose will did the Weeb Club inherit?" And then Dot just says BSA. So like, I mean, to be specific, the BSA Weeb Club, but that's uh, I, yeah. that's not funny. Retro chocolate. We should I invite love, uh... no. We should invite Retro Chocolate on an episode. Have a fucking high school, like fucking middle school reunion or some <laughs> shit. That would be funny as fuck. Watch a Is mecha show. War? Watch a mecha show, and then the entire time just fucking say it's shit and see how mad he gets. Do do I? I don't know if we want to do that. Uh, I would. I like this AAA comment. I don't like the AAA comment. I really like Mega Graphics's response. He says, "Hold up, how do you diagnose a dog with autism?" And my graphics just responds, personal experience. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Um, why did you want me to read this other dot comment? The big one. The Weeb Club 2 technically isn't over yet. Drock hasn't edited the Crafts episode yet. And after that, we're going to post the 20 illustrated anime on Mal, which what was supposed to be on then our seasonal wrap up. And then our last one will be Paradise PD season two. So Vindy, you wanted to be on our last episode. You want to watch some P- PD? Yeah, because then you responded. You said, can I be on without I watching? Said, yeah, I don't want to watch Paradise PD, but I'll pop in. Look, I think I told Dot this in call. I was like, I don't want to watch Paradise PD to be on. I want to pop in and give some, like, dumbass speech about how it was cool that they did it and then leave. And I could do that because they record with Craig. I don't want to sit there the whole time. Unlucky. Look, if I'm being completely honest, I don't want to be on the be- on the Weeb Club, too. I don't no, want to be no, on no, the no. BSA either, so. Yeah. <laughs> BSA was my fault, you know, and I had to old yell at that bitch. I don't want to old yell or something else. Me, please. I'll Me go first. Out. Dude, I'll Me go first. out back. Me first. I'll hand you the gun and go out Me back. Me first. I'll go out back. I'll go okay, out back. Okay, but if you shoot me, or if you, if I shoot you, who shoots me? We'll do a wanted, like, you know... Did you ever see Wanted? Oh, where, like, Angelina Jolie fucking head, shot we through. pull the trigger at the same time? No, 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 no. So, no. Oh. And if you if you watch Wanted, there's a scene at the very... scene, like, towards the end, where Angelina mm-hmm. Jolie... You know how they curve the bullets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know She that. curves the bullet throughout the entire room, so everyone in this circular room gets shot in the head, and then it ends with her standing in the way of the bullet, and she dies. So that's, that's how we're going to do it. Chadley. That's how we're going to do it. But that's how we're going to end. The other way to do it is gun to each of our heads, right? It's like our, the, the, it's a test of our, like, how in sync we are. Um, we go three, two, one, and then pull it, right? And we so just then only the one, of one of us dies stuff. because we're so fucking out of sync. Well, I guess we got to start practicing. Okay, so anyway, on the Overlord episode... Um, uh, Overlord, our... Tw- uh, one year of the Weeb Club, yay! It was Overlord. This is another one of people just being wrong about saying things about me. You know? So, I- Rafael Racine asks a very good <laughs> question. Um, how is Mahoka entertaining in any way? That's it's a good Kino. fucking question. It's Kino fucking Yo, raw Kino. goat swag. What do you find out. Kino raw we'll goat out out swag. When the episode comes out... And fucking we talk makes about my dick rock hard. And my percentage reaches ninety nine, reaches ninety nine, like it's fucking Mob Psycho or something. <laughs> if everyone is not special, maybe okay, you would, me, would you want to be? <laughs> um, 
Also, this wasn't one specific comment, but I like how um, Bored Brio kept, like, whenever, like, people would say something and he'd just, like, oh reply, my God. show me the scans. <laughs> I think it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like, who is, where is he from? It's just him responding to, like, almost anything anyone said with, show me the scans. And they're, and like, genuinely they confused. He was, like, concede to the argument. <laughs> but they were, like, genuinely confused, some of them. They're, like, what? What scans? And he's just, like, like confused. Yeah, like, Gage Riddle says, fun fact, Isekai Quartet spoils major stuff for season three of the Overlord if you don't watch season three first, which you're already planning to do, but then he just responds, show me the scans. <laughs> and then he'll <laughs> just say, no drip, no sauce, no passion. It's like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. God. Um, oh, no. There was this one comment that I really liked from uh, Titania. Ty- uh, yeah. Uh, that said, Vindy's a submissive top. I'm glad someone understands. No. You're a bottom, okay, Vindy. Sorry. Okay. I didn't mean it. Um... So, Generic MC comments something very interesting, which I agree with. He says, Happy one year. I think another Weeb Club mixtape is needed to celebrate. Oh, no. I, look, nothing would make me happier the more Weeb Club mixtapes. That would make me ecstatic. We would have an episode <laughs> only so reviewing. That would make me reach 99.9%. Oh, fuck. Oh. I love Mom Psycho. 99.9. Um... I really want to get to the Reddit. God, but shut up, Graf uh, There was one more I think I saw that I really liked. Let's oh, ignore Nun's it comment. This, it was this Hanalore one that said, a whole year of yelling uncontrollably, and Vindy still has energy in his voice while what is dead inside. That's true. That's true. You I'll know. never lose the energy in my voice. I'm already dead inside. Okay. The light inside is still broke, is broken, but you still work? I, you know, on to the cry Reddit. i for you. What the fuck? You're weird, dude. Shut up, bitch. Okay, so the first <laughs> one, the crop is awful, and you have to like go through fucking gymnastics to get the get the, get the image in a decent readable size. But it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's really funny. I <laughs> uh, should we talk about Rezero season two in a nutshell? Yes. <laughs> It's really good. The part that kills me is uh, the Betty uh, trolley heading towards the Betty um, <laughs> hostage. I really like, I think my favorite thing is that Subaru is standing on the track yes. on the Garfield <laughs> trolley. Like, the, fight is, the fight inside is weird. I don't think I've ever seen a, a trolley problem. Oh yeah, like, no, and then, and then fucking, fucking the... Echidna is like, this is educational. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god fucking re- <laughs> yeah and with the road to roll Koyashi, out, uh, right yeah yeah no that's that, that was uh, mentioned a couple okay. episodes ago so it's uh and then the fucking majora's mask moon is there like i'm There's pretty sure this wasn't made in. for the weep club like i'm pretty sure this was probably posted on 4chan or someone somewhere like that but it's just it's so good <laughs> it, it reminds me of the the gamers that's a show we should watch someday maybe i'll pick it because it's fucking funny um oh the gamers love triangle the, uh, yeah, like the gamers love uh, Pentagon. I think or it's a, yeah, it's like no, I think it's a de- decahedron. That's what math was. I need to watch. I, I need to finish video. gamers. Yeah. I need to finish gamers because I'm. Look, I'll pick it for the Weeb Club. <laughs> I dropped it. I but dropped I it too. Watch. Craft Store of Hardcore. Sad. The more you watch, well, first of all, one, two, three, go. You didn't, Fuck! You didn't wait for the count off. It, if you dropped it, you didn't get to. Uh, you didn't get to the girl that you would really like. Sad. Because there's a girl that I think would. Craft Store. Let's try it again. One, two, three, go. You left me hanging, you fucking I clapped. Fuck. Oh, well, then I Discord didn't. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I Here popped it a blister it on my hand. Pentagon. Here it is. Here it is. Here's the final one, I'm pretty sure. I popped, my, I popped a no, blister on my hand. No, this is as of episode six. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the so fucking... Yeah, I've seen wild. that. It's a pentagram, oh, no, no, no. crap, here's the, Vindy. Here's the hexagram. Here's the hexagram. I was wait, I was trying to find the fucking hexagram. It's a pentagram of fuckery is what it says. If you oh, yeah, 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 the you hexagram. If you Konoha, the girl on the bottom, she's fucking good. She's really good. Damn. True. Anyway, moving on to ReZero. Oh my god, God of High School is epic. It's the best show this season. It has epic fights and epic soundtrack and epic characters and I like it a lot. I totally agree! It's bad. It's bad. Skip. <laughs> look, we're such fucking chads for that shit. Look at, look at these fucking champions on the right there. You see us? The, the virgin content, hate on ReZero, and Stan got a high school. Look, that's some small dick shit. Actually small Chad dick Weep shit. Chad Club, 
Stan Re Zero. That's small dick loose Content pussy shit. Content would hate Oregairu too, right? Content, it, no, look, Digi Content didn't even fit, Digi hates Oregairu. No, listen, Content would be the kinds of people to watch that uh, the scene from the last episode of Oregairu and be like, wait, I don't understand. Do they like each other? <laughs> and then this episode would be like, why are they acting like he like, they Content, like each other now? I don't know. BGE like, and Digi would be the people who, if, if, if Oregairu ended... With them just straight fucking, like, full-on hentai shit. They'd be like, I don't get it. Do they like each other or not? Sad. You know? Anyway, there's another Vindy hair thing, whatever. Um, yeah! Eat this! Yeah! Vindy, eat hair! Someone asked me earlier today if I would eat All, my, all Might's pubes, and my answer to that was... Yes, your answer was yes. We know. You like eating hair. I don't care, dude. Oh, yeah. My day be so fine. Then, boom. God of high school. You know... That, that's i gotta say <laughs> yeah. spectral disc and lunar gym they pop I respect, off effect i respect the amount of memes they make every week well they know like, it's like my like, favorite the more thing. specific a meme is the funnier it is for that niche okay <laughs> no, and look, it's like listen, is... they pop off they fucking pop off con- they say some shit in my discord like they just oh yeah they just fucking they post so much shit that they don't even like uh <laughs> like they don't even post it's sad it's so funny to. though they're so um, funny i also like uh what the what three six confirmed god yeah how to talk nah, the disrespect yeah i don't understand why i'm down there i'm confused you're at i like hey lois no i like hey lois <laughs> i like Fuck that y'all. a lot um <laughs> drock drock <laughs> fucked up because oh no wait Kage Pro Kage. fucked up uh, where because I should be smiling in that second p- reaction. The second one should be the picture that none made of you with a massive dick. For, uh, <laughs> video. Me when I think of Wendy. Um. Uh oh. Oh, I like this one by the Kage Pro. Vindy, delicious. Finally, some good fucking food. Yeah. Vindy, like hair, baby. Woo. They always ask why fairy tale, <laughs> you know, but, but they never, never ask how, how is fairy tale. See, it's like the worst part about this is I I think I have to mention that I read on the tirade how it's become kind of a meme, like I don't... fairy tale. Right, you have to mention why how yeah we turned into a, fairy, uh, a fucking meme. Okay, dot popped the fuck <laughs> off. He it's popped the fuck funny. off, bro. <laughs> that was good. He's fucking losing his mind on this one. <laughs> Um, in, in case you don't want to go to the red listen, it's someone uh, used my laughter over someone. A, it was uh, instead dot. of a uh, yeah, or, yeah, instead of a micro motorcycle sound. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lollygagger um, or something. I don't know. I got stuff to do. I mean, I, 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 if is this a reference to a specific thing or I don't, I don't it's know. just I, it's a I reference to you. The level of well, there's a level of I don't give a fuck here that makes it like funny. I don't know. Okay. It's pretty funny. Like, I think making a meme when you clearly don't, like, like when the joke is that, like, you don't care and you shouldn't be making it, but you're making it anyways, is, like, kind of chat, you know? I gave anyway. a light six to a, to a, you know, a, I don't know, okay. f- fucking, I don't watch anything. Uh, play the OP for God of High School. Go to ReZero. <laughs> Play the OP. Okay. <laughs> Alright, can we talk about good shit now? Yes. Can we talk about um my favorite microwave? My favorite, uh... My favorite, uh, you know, spinny spin, spinny spin, 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 spin around Echidna's tits. What the fuck are you talking about? The, there was literally a <laughs> shot of spinning around. Okay, have you not okay. seen that tweet? No. Have you not seen that tweet 
of her, like, someone posted, like, my food when it's in the microwave, and it's just that scene of a kid okay. like, spinning around. Okay, I don't want to talk about that yet, I'm sorry. We have to, we have to, we have to talk about something else first that's, that's, uh, maybe... I was like, why the fuck would you mention a microwave? Spinny, um, spin, 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 spin. This spin. episode made the part in the OP of Subaru walking Oh, yeah, no, it basically foreshadowed <sighs> it. It foreshadowed the fuck out of it. Yeah. Like, they made that scene, and therefore the entire opening... Ten times more Kino? Like it's unreal. I'm not gonna Un- lie, Vindy. I don't like I don't like realize as much as anima anymore. Okay. But I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. Just saying. Watch Who cares? Okay. Stand Sword Art Online. Can we talk about ReZero? But ReZero let's talk about ReZero, guys. That was fucked up. They need to stop. Every week um, with this shit. There was a lot. Okay, I have one thing to say, just to just to say something um, that someone who reads the light novels told me, which is um, they kind of cut a line out from the uh, the light novel um, when Echidna's talking, just to kind of go more in depth into what like what she's telling them. And she essentially told Subaru that like like the the example that she used with him was if there was ever like a, a route like a, a reason that like you would have to like you could walk through acid essentially and die. I would make you do that so I could have the experience of oh being good. so like that's what she was saying and they kind okay, of like that, cut that that out that makes a lot well because like you know, it's already pretty fucked but that like very much spells out like what she mm-hmm. intended for super where it's like she would because yeah she, she like because even says like oh are you gonna make me do the best possible route and she just is silent because like she's gonna make him go through as many routes as possible so that she right. can get so, all the information she so wants so basically, basically. So, so she's gonna turn him into a tier that three ma- sub that helps a lot that helps frame yeah. a lot of like her because that make because I, I can see how someone could come to that conclusion but that, that having that line there really helps like yeah. frame it all i well, think because I, mean, I didn't get that the full extent of that but it's definitely yeah, like it was yeah, implied fucked up, it was implied yeah. Yeah. but yeah let me read what he said he said he said um, he's yeah, she, akina said, said to be burdened a lot by acid, akina so said make sure you first oh wait say it again if there was a path where he would be burned alive by acid she would lead him through that one first ah! before the correct one because that experience is more interesting um, and she wants that so experience. basically, Vindy, what you're telling me is that she said, "Make sure you um you tier three sub and make sure you sub- you um, subscribe to my you um you pay- uh, to my Patreon and then you know make sure you buy my and then merch. I'll let you buy my she's like bath I'll water. open my legs for you and well oh, actually you no you know what you know what I'm wrong because she's offering more than a tier than a, than a Twitch streamer would. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So what I just realized is how like that the way yeah that was like you know that you you just said it vindy is um so i don't think i yeah i'm pretty sure now that you guys have played the zero escape franchise but no the third one in I'm particular old, really like dwarf. is like it's not that old i'm not Holy old shit. craft dwarf it's not that old i'm not old craft dwarf <sighs> anyway <laughs> zero escape in real life <laughs> okay so anyway, <laughs> well, anyway the, the third the third one in general the fr- especially the, like it's a vision novel so you, you replay it but the third one allows you to like you know pick which point you would play from, and there's a lot of branching paths, and a lot of those branching paths involves getting char- like characters dying, and I kind of like had that sort of horrific realization as like I got more through the game, and it became easier for me to like let the characters die, and I was just like yeah, the, and there's more to it, but like just the way like you know having everyone die to see everything, like I just realized like oh fuck, you know um that's kind of like echidna you know so from you, how how the game kind of incentivizes doing that so that was, that's not related to rezero that's just something i just so realized. what um, i'm getting from this is that you're echidna i'm amelia only Vindy's if there's Subaru. completion involved like if and it's a Vindy's video game Subaru. and it's like I can, look if and there's achievements Rem, i'll i'll put subaru through all the assets listen listen so again craft dwarf is echidna i'm amelia and nunmanji is rem and vindy is subaru is that what you're telling me Minerva. Okay, we're ignoring him. So anyway, um, Crafts Dwarf. Um, yeah, no. That's all I have to say about that one. <laughs> okay, okay. So like, <laughs> God damn it, I hate you. I hate. Look, the idea that like, all like he's, he's like the fact that Subaru is like, how many timelines did I leave the, leave them to die or to leave uh. them to suffer, right? Like how many times did I die selfishly, selfishly, just and just to let them um, live with my live with my like with my with my death, right? Because there's all those fucking timelines where fucking Julius was like, 
I wanted to be your friend. And then there's the one with fucking... Uh, with fucking Puck. We know we're like Puck. It was yeah, Puck and Reinhardt. Puck and Reinhardt. Reinhard. And he was like, it was both of our faults. We're both at fault. I just want... And he, and he just dies because he's like, I don't care anymore. I just want to die. He like... Yeah, it's like the idea that like seeing people at that seeing that people actually cared about him and were there mourning his death in all of those instances is almost like worse than if those uh, fates like those uh, yeah they like they just stopped existing yeah. once he died like, and that's kind of what fucks super about it too but until he you know talked with the you know it can then kind of got it like oh and, well you know we don't know if that's actually like mm-hmm. if they're actually happening or only satala knows and uh well the other thing about the puck and reinhardt one specifically is that like because we know reinhardt's gonna get more focused eventually like he's just you know been placed at a very important position next to felt and like with the whole royal stuff that's yeah i like, mean i expect God, almost you know, every he's he's yeah. definitely like, in some positions with felt you know I, what i'm saying i, I, mean, I definitely God, think I wish that, that was like, me anyway, <laughs> the, route, the, the route that the story's going right is like obvious like i feel like subaru becomes amelia's magic knight right and the, yeah. or whatever the fuck yeah and then it, it kind of very much becomes like this story about um like there there will be a point where a lot of the magic knights kind of get uh a lot of uh like time and, and development with subaru as magic knights right and as the the election goes on which i'm really excited to see it's just that like right now the story is kind of focusing well, i think more yeah. on subaru becoming the magic knight before waiting for the yeah. waiting well, for well, the reason what i want to bring up yeah is the uh the line that um well, because Puck said you can only be a hero, and I thought that was interesting to like specify, like maybe the fact, like the thing, like Subaru, could something be a like you know, because Ryan, you, you, you're like you know, Reinhardt, he's very much like this kind of yeah, he he is this heroic archetype, which is why maybe he's not going to be the one to lead Felt to the throne or whatever. Where Subaru is it? Yeah, he's he isn't a hero in the same sense at all. Like he's not you know he's not Superman. You know maybe he, you know so like man, uh, so way- maybe so that that so it's <laughs> like love, it's it's I love fate. This author, oh like, is kind of able to, like, he's, like, he's building up stuff that we're not going to see for ages, and I'm just like, ah! Look, honestly, <laughs> the way I kind of view that line is that, like, Reinhardt's this person who can only walk the path of, of righteousness. That's all well, he can yeah, do. So- he can only walk in the light. There's only things that he can do, like, in the light and, like, in that nightly way of thinking. Whereas Subaru can do things where it's, like, even if he makes, even if he, like, has to do something bad or like wrong he can he's able to do it or or make or like be that way where like reinhardt can't i i think a really good way to phrase that um is like uh reinhardt has to be like a just a hero right but subaru just wants to be amelia's hero mm, okay um so subaru like and that's kind of like what characters are pushing him in towards right that's what like uh, Echidna was telling him, and that's what uh, fucking um, Roswell told him last week, right? Was right. He needs to learn to prioritize just what he wants and throw everything else away. Mm-hmm. So, man, he, they said yeah. tier three sub, real fucking hard for a mil- um, No, you know what was really I, really interesting was the fact that like in every time, like in every timeline, Amelia was like the most like broken up about the fact that Subaru was dead. Like she was the yeah. most ruined by it in every single timeline, and that was it, it's. If that's really good. If that doesn't tell Subaru, well, Betty how was she also feels, pretty hurt too, which oh, also no, that was, was enlightening. Fuck. Yeah. And then oh no, and then Ram too was like she was like she did that thing where she like she was she was fucking mad. She was angry. She was like, like in that one. God, like this seeing how they react to the fact that he's dead was like the most interesting it like highlights so much about how they feel about him that like subaru should like should take notice to especially the like especially like amelia because he should know how she feels about him by based off of like what we saw there Mm -hmm. and like god the like (laughs) the fact that this time like when he woke up he was like she became like that because i left her alone and that's when he realizes that like i have i can't leave her alone I have to save her, and then I have to save everyone too. I can't just abandon one for the others. And that was like, uh, uh, uh. and you know, there's yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff that um, God, I'm like really excited to see what, play out. When Rem, when like when Rem 
you know, quote on quote on quote yeah, on quote yeah, no. showed up. Yeah, showed up, and he she was like, he could rest now, and he goes, Ram would never say that to me. She would you're say, out of character. You're out of character. Um, this fanfic, it's not. It's this is fan fiction. This isn't real. R- Rem r- betrayed her uh, initial theme of wanting me to not get. <laughs> what out. is this bleach memories of nobody? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No one understands that reference until Vindy watches. Yeah, maybe if you went to movie night, you would have known about that reference. What is this One Piece movie six? Is this See, uh, the difference? Is that Vindy? That one's gonna make people mad. <laughs> I know, and I love, I love relishing in the fact that I'm making everyone mad until I explain. It myself. also just makes you mad because and fucking you didn't come to movie night. Well, the thing is that you're not gonna explain yourself in full until we have our discussion of it in like five years. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. It's, it's exciting. Never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. Only because keep... you can't watch. You won't fucking. Get around to just doing the shit with Vindy but and you and Nun. Crash Road, that's part of the thing. I'm what do you mean? This. Look, listen. Okay, first crash of all, Road, I literally I, did movie all, night as an excuse to get him to watch it with me, but he won't on. do it. First of all, I already told Nun we're doing a Naruto podcast in October. Oh, shut the fuck up. Same, uh, same thing to what? Dude. I'll watch Memories of Nobody in shut October. The fuck once I'm done up, in September. Dude. Both of those will come out in October. Shut up. And then, dude. you know, I'll just start fucking sending them. A liar, Vindy. I'm literally not. You're Do I need to liar. fucking go to my DMs with Nanmaji? Do show I need to link the scan. my DMs show me the scan. to Nanmaji? Show me the scan. Okay, show me the scan. Okay, show me the scan. Continue this argument. Continue this argument. Uh, so this I argument. also thought it was really interesting how it can, uh, was like, oh, you know, she wants Betty to find her, that person. Like, she didn't specifically make she, someone or like she was just interested in who was she would choose right it was well it was like a kind of experiment where you know betty's this like she's she made her entirely reliant on the book and then she gave her like okay so, but then she had her for, made argument. her to, to pick something that or to make a choice that isn't in the book that couldn't be in the book because Take you know it's not something that would have been determined anyway it's in the um, book reading rainbow what? um <laughs> All right, let's just move on, I guess, because no, what hates no. me. No, I'm. What the fuck? Okay, I was uh, making wait, no. a joke, Craft Dwarf. Hold on, I have more stuff I, I kind of want to talk about. I, I definitely um, do. What the fuck? You make okay. a joke when you want to kill the point and move on to a that's different not, point. Craft Dwarf, that's Dwarf, what podcasts true. have you been on where that's ever been the case? Well, okay, I guess you didn't have anything to add to my point then, or what, what I brought up. Because, rather. No, okay, I. You know, the only reason why I'm, like, struggling with it now is because you fucking derailed it. And I was just making a joke about the fact that it was, like, it was, like, it was in the book. Which derailed it! Was it. In the book. You know what, Craftsdorf? You sound like a little piss baby right now. You know that? You sound like a little... <laughs> so what do you have to say, Vindy? <laughs> um, okay, I really like the idea that, that, like, Subaru's power that was given to him by Satella is so powerful that all the witches want him to make a contract with him. Yeah, they were all sipping real hard for him. And I think it's interesting that, like, this idea that even though the power came from Satella, he could make a contract with other witches, but the way they were talking about it was as if he could only make... A contract with a witch. A contract with one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he implied that he was going to make a contract with Betty. Yeah. Which is a really cool idea. Chadley. So, like, I, I want to see more, I guess, of how the 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 contract thing plays out, as well as um, the other witches, because like we we understand Echidna now, right? Like now we have a pretty good idea of what Echidna is about, what makes her kind of like this, like because like I think we're moving to the point, especially with some of the faces she was making towards the end, that she's starting to become you know more an like antagonist. a witch. Yeah, like she's she's an antagonist now, as opposed to someone that's helping Subaru. And it's kind of like, like now, you know, Subaru's rejected her. She's going to be upset. Like, right? that was the first um, time we've ever seen her, like, mad, right? What... Yeah, I think yeah. this is the first time we've seen her have any emotion that wasn't, like, you know, happy, you know, calm or, you know, like, or get, having a lot of moments of, like, you know, ha- happiness when she, he, like, you know, her, you know, her gushing in her, you know, drawers because of Subaru and such. I mean, you know? fair. Um, right. And so I'm curious to see what the other witches are about as well. Yeah, like your favorite, um, the one who punched the ground and shit. Yes, Minerva, yes. Well, she also came in and to save Subaru, so it's like... That was well, yeah, that's, Even if ultimately it was motivated by her wanting to make a contract with him, she still is helping him out, well, you know? That's what's so. also interesting about Minerva to me, is that, like, she might, like, look. I I, I expect all the witches, now. part of the reason they're witches is that they, they've done bad things, right? But we also know with Minerva from the episode we saw her in a couple episodes ago, she said the line that, like, she wanted to get rid of all, like, pain or sadness or heal the entire world or something. So, like, 
we know kind of what her motivation is, right? Whereas, like, uh, Akinda's greedy and just wants information at all costs. Minerva's goals are inherently, like, good, right? Like, she wants to help the world. So I'm curious to see, like, what, what she did that was bad. Her. Yes, and I'm also really curious about Gluttony and why Gluttony is, like, locked in this fucking porky contraption from Mother 3. Um, I love Super Smash Bros, bro. I'm sorry? <laughs> Okay, so Discord is fucking with your sound, so you're sounding like a fucking... No, he's... Don't worry about him. I know what he said. He's a piece of shit. Um, no, I mean his laughter. Not funny. Yeah, I don't worry about him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, the witches, I... Like, well, we kind of got a rundown know... of what they do in, the in like, what, episode three? Only, when it came only three first of them. Only three them. of them. No, she talked about all of them. Yeah, but we, we don't have, like, a full, you know... No. Like, the full idea, and... and that's the thing to me is like what this episode really did was seeing them all. Well, I, I literally wrote really down hard. what they could like because uh, um, Daphne created the beat, the, all the, the the monsters like which we kind of knew about. So, but I, I know she might also be sealed away because she's dangerous. Like because because that's the thing. Like you know, Super got close to the Witch of Lust and fucking you know nearly died. Uh, like they're all just really powerful and da- and very fickle and yeah, dangerous. Well, and in we the know first that place, Gluttony, so. Gluttony even said that she created like the rabbit so that everyone could eat. Right, right. Yeah, there's a reasonings too. Like we only know like the basic. I, like so, let me just uh, r- uh, recap with what I wrote down. Um, the witch of lust um, made monsters have, or it's, she made beasts have emotions to fill the world with more love. So she, um, like you know, she wanted more love. So she made monsters also be able to feel things. I guess um, the witch of wrath. Uh, she yeah, she has a healing power, but that was also a, res- a response to her, the destruction she caused. So you know, it she. Um, uh, the witch of sloth woke up a dragon so that she could rest. It were so she's yeah. The um, Typhon, the, the the witch of pride, uh, judged criminals. Um, but she you know was prideful because she decided that she was able to do that. Um, and yeah, so that's uh, and Akina didn't say much about herself, but uh, I think that was all. Right. Well, I but, mean, because... yeah. So that was just so that's just what we we had from episode three, and then we aside from what we've gotten since then. But uh, and and, and so yeah, like the this episode definitely made all of the witches way more interesting to me, and made me way more into this idea of like seeing what they're all about. But the fact that know? like Satella is like the scariest of them all looks like right. <sighs> the end of the episode, I was like. <laughs> Oh, because I didn't expect Satella her to come in, like, because she's been pretty like, because she killed all the witches. That was her crime. Um, right. And but no, here here she is with them, and yeah, she's coming in at the end, and it's like. I, and there's another thing that's interesting about that is they didn't seem like they were mad at her. They were just or like, resi- yeah, like they weren't like hateful or resentful to her for what she did. I mean, they we'll see in like, full next time. But, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, but they they didn't seem like like the one who. Uh, the 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 lolly one who's not gluttony, pride um, yeah pride was like excited to see Satella and like called her a nickname. So I that's something that's also interesting to me is like this idea that like they're um... and that's actually really interesting. I specify that because she's the one who judges criminals, and yet the person she she doesn't look negatively on the person who killed her, which I just realized yeah. was interesting. Um, so and that's so that's kind of you know I, I mean I'm sure there's more to it that will well learn. and like one one thing that's kind of implied that implied that I assumed is like because apparently the witch gospels the the fake ones like convert people to the witch cult so my assumption was that like maybe Satel is like really sympathetic and that like you you that it, it tells it's from her perspective or just from her of her like things that happen to her and like people read them and it's like oh fuck um she the the, uh, the world bad satel are good you know and they, they become tier three su- uh, subs um There's a lot of tier three subs <laughs> they want to whatever um yeah it God, i'm so so this I guess, show is so cool it's so fucking cool so i have a question where do you guys think it's going to end because next episode it's going to have subaru possibly encountering satel it might be a, a the whole episode it might be none of it or like very little she's gonna raw dog just... him right in the spot and against his will let's go because um, like, next episode's the last one and then we have the whole season to go so i think betty betty I didn't hear. okay oh maybe, yeah oh, i'm not sure maybe making the contract with betty instead of the other witches that would be a good place to end it because that'd be like a, a point of light to lead into the next one but also yeah. maybe that'd be too quick to happen right if it yeah. just happened next up this next yeah episode. well my thought is because so. a lot of times he'll get to the roswell mansion like right away 
So I could see, and, and we know Betty keeps her memories at least somewhat right through the return by death. Like she knows about it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I could see it being he goes to make the contract with Betty. I could all like because they have to end this first half on something, right? And maybe this witch's tea party takes the entirety of next episode. I, I could see that. Potential. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah, is that that um, one might happen? And then he... well, because like that, we're finally like because we've. We know about Satola, but like this is the first time we're actually like seeing her and getting to well, any, well, you know, in in any meaningful capacity. Like, yeah, I mean, we've like, seen her a couple times. Like, we, 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 she hasn't. We like, haven't this actually is her, seen like, her face, really. Right, and she's like the, the, her actions. Oh, I just been very assumed small. it was Amelia's. Oh my god! I, I assumed well, I, that's yeah, why so she's going to look uh, similar to Amelia. But um, no, I mean, like, yeah, she's she's been around, but she has like, yeah, she had the little like her spirit to interact, like where she, you know, kind of the, the image of her shows this. But she hasn't had she she hasn't talked to anyone really or said anything. She's kind of like been mis- very mysterious overall, I think. So, and this is going to be her actually her. And so I think there's a lot of uh, like because uh, obviously the author can't just reveal everything right away, but. Uh, uh, Oh, this is a craft know. store. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is a craft store of aneurysm moment, guys. I'm excited. Fuck you. No, there's um, there's definitely a lot. I think that has me, like, I'm just so excited to see a lot of these ideas play out because I think that I, if the next episode is all the witches tea party, right? That will basically be the setup for this arc done, right? Yeah. We've learned a shit ton about every character. We might even learn why Satella gave Subaru the power. We might even learn why Satella and Amelia look alike or whatever, right? And, and so that's yeah, a lot of this Yeah, we could learn setup. a lot. Well, let's see. I feel like if we're going to learn anything, it's going to bring up like 50 more questions yeah, because order, that's just how this whole zero fashion has been. In true ReZero right? fashion, we're going to get brain fucked. No, 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 no. I mean, that's true. But I, I, I think that, like, there's a high chance that we get at least a good amount of, like, like, I think major questions, right? Like, I think a lot of what this season's done is kind of been answering, because, like, the first, I, you know, the first, like, 20 episodes are, are super kind of understanding the idea of starting his life over, right? Like, the, the, the namesake of the show, right? Like, the, the starting his life over from zero. And so... This season is kind of like, I think, or this arc is like, it's setting up for everything else. And so, um, I, I think that like, it's going to answer some of the big, big questions we have. And then smaller ones get revealed as the story progresses. But I think like the biggest things that would be wondering, like, how did Subaru, in, like potentially even like, how did Subaru end up here? Why is he here? Stuff like that. Yeah, why Subaru of all people, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, Might not for sure be answered, but I mean I think it's safe to say, right, that Satella is the reason Subaru's in the world, right, with his power he has. Because we know she's the reason he has the power. Probably safe to assume she's the one who brought him to here, right? Mm-hmm. Um so then now it's now it's one of those things where we get this like uh I don't know, I think it, 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 it like we'll probably get a lot of the major questions answered. Yeah. Anyway, play the OP for the uh, end of uh, uh, But At work. No, I said talking about it. I cried at work. It. I said talking about it. No. I don't know. Oh my fucking God. So this episode... How is Yukino so cute? Where was she hiding it the whole the time? Entire, what do you mean like, hiding it? It was there the whole time. No, no, it was not to right. this level. No, not to Kraft the, not, Dorf is right. But she, Kraft not, no, is but she, it's like she got. It was like it was like the entire time we seen her in Super Saiyan, but now she was in Super Saiyan she Blue. Went, she went from like a six to like an, a nine. A ten. A ten. A ten. A ten. A ten. A ten. Ten. I mean, obviously, it's that like now she has no longer she no longer She's has no to longer need to hide or anything, hold yeah. herself back or hold or cut or keep herself away from other people because you know Hachiman, you know she's no, a Hachiman, but so that's she's not the she best part. All of her blushing. No, listen, all of that's her fucking... not the best part. Ooh. It's the fact God, that when, they when were both you can take a picture like... of my drink and she just fucking loops her arm around and listen, fucking leaps into. Oh oh they were God. fucking oh acting God. like Crap normal store. people. Just fuck already. Just fuck already. Handle it. And then he gets upset because. Then he gets upset because, um... Kraftstorfen, they were acting like normal people. Like a normal fucking couple. It was the craziest <laughs> shit. 
these two were acting like normal people. Like, let's take pictures together. Let's fucking hang no, out. No, I don't care about that. That was I talk fucking about just, crazy, dude. I want to talk about how then Hachiro was like, no. I, I kind of looked like a piece of shit. Take it again. That's how people and take then pictures, Vindy. Then she gets nervous and is like, I know. Shut up, what? Okay. <laughs> what the? No, but crap, Vindy. It's them. It's these two. Like, what the fuck? That was crazy. Her hat was very cute, by the her way. Her hat was I very cute. Hat. So were her like twin tail things. I wanted I like to grab the girls them both. Wear hats. hats are good. Oh yeah, that was a good interaction when she when uh, he was like, "Wow, it must take a lot of time to, to dress up your hair like that. You probably only do it on days off." And, he, and she's like, "I don't." do it on just on days off like or just because of days off like god god i love the fact that every single that's like, her hot fun bend me over and fuck me hairstyle no, listen 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 when they were in the park and they saw the wedding and she's like what do you think about over there and he goes <laughs> you're, going little, you're going a little too fast you're going a little too fast you're going a little too fast giving some steps there and she's like no it's not what i meant it's not what i meant it's not what i meant <laughs> so, <laughs> i and then when she fucking confessed to him, like actually, when she said, said "I love you," word. and then she did that little run away, and then he had to fucking sit down from that shit. And Hatch was like, and then my favorite part is he was like, "Fuck, now I have to say it." Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a little, he's a little shithead. He was like, "I don't have to say it until she does." No. And then she said it. He's like, "Fuck, now I actually." I have to I, say love it. I love those lines. I love those lines he had where he was like, "This is," he's like, "This is kind of fucking annoying," but maybe that's why it's cute. And it's like. Man, he, man, he fucking kind of gets it. He kind of fuck like. Yeah, it's really annoying when girls beat the shit out of me. That's why it's really cute. Okay, too. well, now so you yeah, I was it. actually about to say because like I wonder if almost like the series was kind of done as like a challenge to the author where it's like, okay, can I do a romance with with saying where the characters say, talk about love and say I love you as like little as po- or like using the word as little as possible, like. Well, it also makes it so good that these people who don't want to be normal people don't use this word until they start acting like normal people. That was right? that's right. What's like cool. Like yeah, the, the fact no ca- like no character directly like the teacher wrote it, but no character ever, ever says like I love you or anything like that up until the last fucking episode. I'm pretty. I, I might be wrong on that because obviously she like, said it. At, at least she said it the since before. they said it since they said it last episode. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, got, no, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But okay. Uh, like. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, okay. <laughs> okay okay listen this entire show okay? these people kept going re normies normies are bad we're all norm like uh, no this before okay so the entire show thus far was i hate normies re normies get him out of here episode 12 of origai rukan is literally we're all normies by vindy vonda on youtube.com uh, that's what this fucking episode was I'm look sorry. when when fucking the s- sensei it, like reads hachiman his old cringe and he's just like oh, oh my God. that's cringe <laughs> that's like when y'all make me watch we're all <laughs> that's that. like or when bring we, it up that's like when we make craft store watch fairy tale why fairy tale fairy ta- youth no, is a lie I, it's nothing well, but evil and, and it's like it's, ah. it's a callback to the the beginning of the of show the, it's why like i've tried to explain to people before and i'm glad the show just outright went and did it for me. Look, but yeah. Like, the, the, the entire point is that, like, that opening monologue is wrong and edgy and stupid. Exactly, which right? is the first thing I realized when it, because I first watched the show literally, like, uh, early this year. So, like, when I watch it, watch it, and I'm like, wow, Hachiman is a stupid fucking child. And then the show just fucking went, Dude, you know what? But ha- he, Hachiman just went, wow, Hachiman is a stupid fucking child, no, or what? Hachiman yeah, like, turned, he just outright said No, it. look, Hachiman turned into a fucking normie and, and was like, well, wow, what's that's so kind of cringe. <laughs> is that these characters in, in this last episode, right? Once Hachiman became a normal person, him and everyone else just stopped talking in code. Like, okay. There are a couple moments I need to talk about because I was losing my no, shit. No, Vindy. And you're... they all involve... No, 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 Real quick. Okay. Okay. For all of you people out there talking about Oregairu subtext and, oh, the subtext, oh, uh, now that I rewatch it, I realize there's not that much subtext. It's not that deep and meaningful. Just say Alexander. Hey, Alexander, say you Alexander. dumb Canadian fuck. Look at this episode where they literally show you why they're doing that because they're cringy fucking 4chan and 4chan users, okay? And then fucking right, 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 out of okay, fucking okay, okay. nowhere, they become normies so, and they're like so now talking not, like normal people. Now that you're people. not being mean, to, now that you're now that you're done being toxic, okay? I fucking loved, by the way, like the moment where like okay, <laughs> when Iro has like being like Iro, she's still being the one talking in code, right? She's like going up to Yui, she's like, hey. You know, in three years, you'll be able to drink. And then, you know, you can make him do something he'll never fucking, you know, forget. And then fucking Shad Komachi's just like, 
She could drink in two years. Don't you mean you? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, look, and then, look. And then she says the goaded line to Ira. She's like, I thought that Hachiman had to be with a girl who would either push him or pull him forwards. But now I realize he could be with someone as trashy as Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Listen, yeah. listen. And it's so funny because Ira is the, like, Ira is the only person at the end of the series still talking in that code because she's still an immature, stupid fucking child. She's younger listen, than everyone else, Listen, listen. Right? How, look, every single, how did, how the fuck did they make a scene where they put Komachi and Iroha in the same room and every single word that came out of both of their mouths was Kino? Like, that was fucking great. I was like... No, they had the great interactions and, like... They were roasting <laughs> each other the entire time. It was so great. Well, yeah, it's great. It's Because, per- yeah, um, you know, it was kind of put well with how, like, oh, you know, Iroha still hasn't grown up well. So, so Komachi is very used to dealing with her fucking childish older brother. And even though he's grown up, well, Iroha is like him. So, she, of course, she's, like, adept at dealing with that shit because she's had to put up with her bu- brother for... And now she's dealing with, like, a slightly younger God, version of her brother. God, so, it's like, of course she's wait, just going to be able to roast her over fucking open flames. Because, like, like, Iroha's it, used to being the little sister, right? She's used to being, like, everyone right. dotes over me. Everyone loves me. And that's why it's... With so- so Komachi's there like Komachi tries to call her Big sister like, She's like big sister. And then the entire time Yoro's like what? What? Stop 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 What are you because, doing? Stop <laughs> Because And that's why it's so great Because like Komachi's younger right? And so the same way that Like what she sees in Hachiman Is what she sees in Iroha Right? This like person Talking in code Kind of like Trying not to be real Because they want to run From how they actually feel About things You know like that kind of thing Um, It's really really fucking good And that's why Like Honestly, one of my favorite parts of this fucking episode was just, like, that interaction with Iroha. Can can I be honest? Because, like, it was so fucking chadly that Komachi just called her out and just, like, kind of straight up told her. Because, like, then, because she tried to do, because originally, uh, they were like, are you talking about yourself? Era, and she did the thing she always does with Hachima, right? Where she's like, no, 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 no. I, I have someone else I like. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. And then Kobachi just says, but you're not talking about Yui. You're talking about yourself. <laughs> like, she just calls her out <laughs> on it because she's used to doing that to Hachime. And it's great. God. It's a great interaction. No, look, okay. If I'm being honest... Like, I feel robbed that these two haven't interacted before and that the series is over so we can't see them interact I know. more. I, I feel know. Co- I feel because fucking hey, author, You know, I'm just saying, so if you want to write just a comedy spinoff of, of just, like, two? Iroha and Komachi's, like, uh, And then maybe they dumb kiss and maybe they fall in love and they, <laughs> well, they girls who kiss? Again. Oh, you're Vindy. I can't take it. You can't do that to me. But that would be good. Vindy, you can't just go and invent a 10 out of 10 like But then like we're getting that. greedy. You getting can't invent a 10 Komachi's out of 10 not, like that, Vindy. Komachi's not my sister. I can okay, now you're fine. making it weird. So, um... How? I'm saying that it's not incestuous so, for me to so think So anyway, hot. anyway, 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 anyway. Are you stupid? Can I be honest? This is my favorite episode of the yes. entire show. This is yeah, this is my favorite fucking episode. Best. This is the best thing to come out this entire episode. Because Jesus, this episode I would I would easily give this episode a ten out of ten, and I don't think I'd give this show a ten. This episode is you, easily a Vindy, ten. Vindy, you me. have no idea. I was so I watched this final episode at work and I was sitting there and I started fucking twitching because I was like, Do I wanna give this show a fucking ten? Do I wanna give this show a fucking ten? <laughs> and I was like, I can't though, I can't. Cause you know, cause cause like you know what? There's just one thing and it's like it didn't destroy me no it it didn't destroy me if that makes sense it didn't like ruin my emotional state you agree with me look i didn't hear what you said because what was talking since they didn't get naked well you know that's fair well you know if she had gone i mean look she fell on hush her fucking tits were climb right on top of because he has a she kind of start to unzip his pants yeah but did she get naked no she stopped you know what there's there's so much in this there's so much to unpack about the fact that like this episode is like the pinnacle of all of their growth because like Yukino, oh, yeah. this episode, her mom was like, "This is a good work. People are gonna get mad." And you, Yukino was like, "Yeah, okay, I'll fucking take, I'll fucking deal with that shit when it comes." You know? And, and, oh my god! And then the end of it, like, here's what's great: the 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 show ties up so many of these loose ends in such a great way. Like, okay, even the the fact that Yukino's mom wants to have dinner with Hachi, <laughs> oh, right, yo! shows that. Like, that's showing that, like, it, their family relationship probably isn't completely repaired, but it's a start. But it, you it's know? okay, okay. And she's also accepting of her choice for, you know. Right. 
Exactly. That's we what got, I'm okay. saying. Is like it's a start to repairing that relationship. We got. We gotta go. Piece, really cool. We gotta fucking go piece by piece because there's like so much that just fucking happened that was like in fucking quick succession. Because like there's that part where they're sitting in the club room and they're like sitting as close. Hold to- on. Okay, we gotta talk about. Yeah, we gotta talk about the fact that finally Hachiman and you. Okay, wait. Okay, finally Hachiman and Yukio are not sitting on opposite that sides would, of the club room. Right. Visual storytelling is not. Vis- high, or the guy who's not good at visual storytelling. As close to each other as possible. And what's fucking great about that is that all of a sudden when yui used to be the person sitting in between them right it was kind of like the person that was able to they're connect t- they're them on this- keep them there <laughs> they're they're on one side so then yui's chair and they even look over at it is on the other side it's, of the club room from them it's gone right no, vindy She's this show's there, bad at visual storytelling uh. anyone the two of them now are closer than anyone else in the series has ever been. Look, right? Look, oh okay okay so that scene but there's also the fact that like yukino openly goes like can you help me with this right and it's like or like could you do this for me and he goes sure i'll and like like she's like openly out and she's not doing it in their shitty way they used to do it before now they're just like could you help me out with this like a normal goddamn person and he goes okay i'll do it right <laughs> like right they're mutually relying on each other without any fucking bullshittery but or the anything. best yeah. right. part was the goddamn avengers portal scene that fucking happened immediately yes, i was after. gonna say the oh, fact yeah. that like all of these people and they all are fucking liars right like here's the thing i love is that like honestly like if we're being honest all the people that are there are legitimately there because they because of hachiman they're such like they're not there for like okay yeah yes they're friends with yukino but the reason that they went is because of because of the connections that hachiman's made with all well, like that that's right the... that's why like that's why i fucking loved when hayama and all the normies showed up right so cool. and then it showed them later on it showed them later on that they were in the same class and they like commented on it they're like oh we're in the same classes hikitani they still call him hikitani it's yeah. so fucking funny dude it's so good it's because so now it's like good. now he's like he, like before he would get mad about but i was like okay I don't know, whatever that's what they're calling me yeah he just kind of doesn't give a shit and like he's just sitting there and another great thing is he's not reading his book he has his book open motherfucker was not reading but he was like he's looking around page, yeah a page did not flip and normally he was constantly flipping pages to show he was reading the book he wasn't flipping pages that motherfucker was not reading he had the book open because he you know was still isn't fully there to pretend like he's not but like but he's a honesty, normal like, functioning person <laughs> he's making these connections with other people and know? it's so good and like and no that's why i no, listen like okay, it was sorry. like one by one each of his like connections came like the clo- ones closest to him and the ones that he thought were like furthest away right so first it was like fucking right. iroha's right she just showed up with, and she was like hey you know with her you know her usual sh- you know shitty ways hot and then Irohas. Remember they call her Irohas? No, 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 no. So first was like the computer club and like uh, fucking Epic Chunibyo, my my hero, my fucking hero was in there. And then they saw Iroha, they're like, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. <laughs> and then she saw, she like looked, she like said something to them. They were like, you know what? I, oh. I, I can see. They were like, oh, oh. I, I can, I, can, I, understand. I understand. They're, they're like, oh, I get it. They now. fucking like <laughs> screen tilted down. You'd see three bones. <laughs> <laughs> and then like uh, and then after that was fucking like they became vindies they wanted yeah, yeah, to punch yeah, yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. and then fucking immediately after that the normies no, came no 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 Iroha's not strong enough to actually hurt me by beating me up i went but she is she is devious enough to to hurt me emotionally and you like that you um, fucking you fucking get all hot and bothered by that shit so i want i want ear ear has the kind of, of pain i, I want to feel emotionally right yeah. i want her to berate me i don't want her to like so 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 like and then fucking the normies came in, right? The normies came in, and they were like, you know, they were, they were like being like, eh, we could to help you, and like they were fucking around, but they were they were, they wanted help. And then fucking, oh, and then fucking, fucking the the fem, the the trap everybody wants to fuck, right? <laughs> like she she, she she he shows up, and then he Gaia, for like he, Hachiman for the first time, he fucking goes, yo, can you just help me out and get the entire tennis club to help us out too? Like openly asks it, doesn't even have no reservations, just asks it. And then she, and then like Psycho fucking smiles and he goes, sure, I'll do that for you. That was, ah, the show. Ah. And then they're all waiting for Yui. They're like, they're looking at her chair. They're like, she's going to come. And then, she, and then we just see her run in and, it, and then the fucking opening from the first season plays. And it's like, 
Does it play? I've had it played when she said, "I love oh, you." Am I stupid? Oh, I fucking. I, maybe I'm fucking brain dead. I just know. I just know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, I'll pull up no, the episode. Really I, quick. I know no there worries. was a music cue. I'll, I'll there was it. definitely a music cue that no, happened. No, there no, was no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I want to know. You're right because there was another montage that happened after she said, "I love you." That happened. That's why I'm thinking of because there was two montages. There was one montage when you showed up and there was a musical cue, and there was another montage that was the opening that played when he she said, "I love you." I'm I'm having brain rot. Because I'm fucking. Lo- I believe you. I just need to. I'm having brain rot because I'm losing my mind over how it good was, this episode was. was. Yeah. So anyway, and then like I love the fact that like they're like sitting there, and then he looks over at fucking Irha, and he's like, you know, let's take a break. And he was like, oh okay. And he's like, no, it's it's time for the boys to hang out. No no no. <laughs> what I love about it is he's like, I gotta go do this. And then she's like, well, can you get food for every? He's like, like no. <laughs> he's well, no no no. Here's what I love actually. Here's what I love about the scene. Is he's like, I gotta go pick up the, the shit, right? So he's going to go pick it up. And then um, he's like looking at Iroha because he knows that Iroha will understand what he wants. And Iroha will be the one to say it instead of him. So he just stares at Iroha until she goes, hey, maybe we should take a break. And then uh, you, and then that's when you know, like, oh, can you get food? He's no. Like, no. He's like, it's, we're going it's, to the hot springs. I'm going to the, with the boys. I'm going with the boys. Is well, actually, no. That's not how he does it. Well, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. We're going to the hot springs with the boys. We are going because it will make us better. It will make us stronger people. I love. <laughs> I just love the, the fast talking he does, where he's like so fucking hyper focused. Like, we're going to the hot springs with the boys. It will make us feel better. It will make us way more productive for the rest of the night. That's what we're doing. There is no argument. That's what's happening. And then, it's and then, so fucking, fucking they're funny. hanging out in the sauna, and they're like, "Yo, uh, you two, uh, you two going out?" And he's like, "Uh," <laughs> and they're like. <laughs> and it's Chad totes because like don't ask him that he's not gonna he's gonna say no even though we all know it's yes it was so Chad <laughs> like no but like the fact that they're all in that sauna and they're just hanging out this is the first time I've ever seen seen him and all these guys just hang out like normal people normal functioning people just hanging out like bros like that's the first time we've ever seen something like that and it was so good that was fucking character development this this is character development the the episode it there was there was a lot that was and like i loved it like hachiman like hayama and fucking uh underrated uh kyo annie show boy right never would have interacted <laughs> really. underrated show boy go fuck yourself am i no, wrong? you're you're right but like i just fucking like it's it took me half a <laughs> second and i was like you fucker <laughs> But like Hachiman's the 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 glue that brings them no, together, right? Yeah, and that's really cool. And like that's that's what's the best is that they're all there for him, right? And they're all like of this this cool group of buddy of boys because of Hachiman. And like, God, the like, it was like they were they were hanging out, right? And like, and then they, he gets out, and it's just, it's just the little things, right? Where he goes out, and all the girls are sitting on the bench, and they're like, oh, they all went to go food, which means they're all of them are hanging out together, and they're all going out to eat. And this is something he would never do before. This is something Yukino would mm. never do before. And it's like, oh my god, that's so good. I love that shit. Uh, but no, 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 no. Okay, so there was some. Was there anything else in that scene specifically? Because I know that there was that part where like Iroha leaves first, and then Yui gets up, looks at him in the looks at him in his face, and like walks away after like because she wants to avoid saying something and then she it, like he reaches his hand out like this this part is like the embodiment of like everything that this their relationship is he reaches his hand out to her and she's like i can get it by myself and he's like i know but i'm reaching out my hand to you anyway and that's it that's that was the fucking thing it, it didn't fucking matter if she could do it herself or not he was going to help her anyway because he wants to. Like, that's that was it. That's all it was. And it's like, that's... God. Ah! Fuck this show. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. I hate, fucking hate this show for making me feel things. There was more. Um, I got teary-eyed when Yui said that, you know, gave her gave her, her problem that she wanted help for. She wants she Oh, you know, the person oh I like, my like God. someone else. Um, but that other person is my best friend. And I want to be there with that best friend. And I was like, oh, oh, they're... they're, they're there. She just said it. She yeah. just said it. Kraftstorf. Even even when she couldn't say it, she was able to eventually say Kraftstorf. And then Hashiman looked at the camera. He said, "Cue the laugh track." <laughs> and 
already <laughs> said the line. Like, that was fucking Kino. <laughs> Craftsdorf, you're missing the best part about that part. Because the best part about that... Yeah, Craftsdorf, you stupid fucking idiot I just bitch. described the part. No, 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 no. You're missing the best <laughs> no, part about that. You stupid fucking dumb bitch. Do you know what the was best the part about that is? Was the and it was the cutest goddamn thing I've ever seen? Is that she looked at him and then looked away like three fucking times? Because that was fucking adorable. Listen, no, listen. Craftsdorf. Just spit it out. It was like, the fact the, that Iroha and, and Komachi fucking made her do that. Like, they went and saw that at the prom. They're like, yeah, we're, we're gonna fucking get her to do this shit. We're gonna make her do it. Yet yeah, Iroha hasn't done it yet herself. Question mark, and question, Koma- mark, question God, mark. Komachi's so good, though, because she's... Komachi neither. No, Komachi's just fucking there. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, baby. Komachi's there to be a fucking hero all the goddamn time. She's just there to fucking support them whenever they need it. Like, she comes to join the club, mm-hmm. and they're like, like, no, okay. I do love that she joins go, 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 the club. Go, 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 go. And the Iroha just comes and is like, boom, motherfuckers, no, the club's the No, thing. okay, I love those two, because even though Iroha's being stupid and being Hachime from... The, from like you know from the beginning of the show she's still there to support them and make them do the shit that they're not going to do themselves right so she's like she in here she like fucking come on she goes in she's like hey, hey i'm i'm joining the club and they're like no uh, um, the club's the club's over we quit it and your house like no bitch <laughs> no you did it <laughs> not on my watch and come on she's like fuckers come on she's like yeah bitch i'm part of the well, club now what i love about that scene before that is that like they neither of them have any idea because like they think that Komachi's, like, trying to figure out what club she's going to join. So they're like, well, Komachi's going to be out late because she's figuring out her club. And this No, and that. okay. No, 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 no. But, guys, I love how that's worked into, like, the dialogue because she's, like... Right, that's what I mean. <laughs> is that, like, they mention it, and then the next time we see her, it's because she's actually joining their club. But clearly, like, didn't tell them that because she wanted it to be a surprise. No, no but right? even better is that, like, that, that line of dialogue was, like, because it was, like, uh, hey, um, my mom wants you over for dinner. He's, like, no. No, 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 no. She's like, he's, he's like, I'm busy. She's like, you're not busy. I know you're not busy. Oh, I, I love it. I meant to bring up that exchange. I like that, like, when she brings up all the people, right? She brings up Totska. She brings up, I do like that she doesn't bring up any women. It's she only up, like, Totska. Dudes. And then she, she's like, hi, she he's, he's up, like, she's like, hi, Emma. He's like, no. Uh, no she's never. like, Nibutani's hot. And he says, no. Um, She brings up. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I love that she brings up Hayama like, no. even because she's able to tell that, like, they're actually friends, even if they're both going to be little Sundari fuckers about it. God, you know they buttfuck behind your back. You know, that's just God, true. cute fucking bitches. Stop being Sundari. It's like, it's like the relationship of Kirito and just Yu-Gi-Oh! While Asuna well, awesome, awesome is the one who knows the truth. Fucking don't stop talking when I bring up that shit. <laughs> hmm? Por qué? Why does Sword Online Alicization have two men fucking? Hot fucking with men all over. What? Because that's uh, guys fucking is objective. Big men because there's no women involved. Big men fucking hot fucking with men all over. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the problem with Origairu. Um, we could talk about it for a long time, but here's another thing to remember with Origairu specifically. Um, people want us to watch seasons one and two, like it's in the Patreon poll. And so I think there's a good chance that that eventually gets picked. And so we can even use that to, even if we're, I mean, I assume not, none of us will rewatch season three. We can I use might. that as a way to do more. I might too because if I, I oh, rewatch seasons why. one and two. But, t- well, I'll just say, we can curtail, like, we can, if we end the discussion on Wargairu now, right? Then what that gives us is we can come back to it after, because I mean, Crash saw it recently, but you and me, what happened? Well, so no, actually, no, I did re-watch it, rewatch it recently. Okay, well, I haven't. I haven't seen it in like a million. You were 40s. saying that you'd rewatch it before the season started, and now the season's over. And where is your rewatch, Mindy? Crossroad. I'm like sixty episodes in the Gintama. I don't want to. I hear look. It. I so okay? let me put let me put it this way. I was I was planning on making a video on Hayama, but I stopped because fucking like I wanted to see what happened in this season. And now that you know the season's complete, and you know, I'm because I'm I'm taking a quote unquote break from November to from October to mid December. To backlog a bunch of videos, so I'm gonna be making a video on a bunch of romance series to release like weekly in February, and Order Guide is one of them, so that works out. Neat. Oh fucking don't neat me, don't neat me, you fucking, you fucking piece of shit old man, you fucking fucker, you fucking, you fucking corpse, you fucking. Are you ready to go into final thoughts? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Is say we should go to final yeah. thoughts. Yeah. And we'll talk about Order Guide later. If you want to hear more Order discussion, if you want to hear me um, cry. 
pay for us to pay for us to cry. Anyway, um, I give me a kiss, you bitch. Hmm? (laughs) What are you gonna say? Oh wait, Kravstorf, can you please put the can you please put the number on the screen this time instead of doing what you always do and just not put the number on screen? No. That's too why much work. So, anyway, why you edit this are you episode. So no, you fucking. It's you literally just episode. make a text layer. That's no. all it is. No. No, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Crafting is so funny. I love Chad's. Dwarf. Just fucking make and it's literally just our name and then a number. That's it. No. Oh my god. Fine. Fine. Okay, fine. 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 Too much work. Oh my god, um. you're such a fucking baby. <laughs> God, edit. I also have to like zoom in the frame so that it only shows the one person. Too much work. Edit less, and you'll be like, and you'll be Vindy. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, you say that like it's a bad thing. What's wrong? What's wrong with Vindy? Lots Wait, of things what? are wrong, with Vindy. Thank you, Craft Store. If I love you. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Though. Uh, final thoughts. Did you um, say ew? Final thoughts, Craft. Let me get my final thoughts. Okay. Final thoughts, Craft Store. Oh, now you want me to get my final, final thoughts, thoughts. Craft Store. Ah, that's interesting. Final you thoughts, Craft Store. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Um, anyway, hey, what score did you give it? Um, <laughs> it was really good. Um, I don't think it hit the same peak for me as uh, episode eight of season two did, but overall, I enjoyed it. So, lots of good stuff. Might rewatch the whole thing eventually. Um, we might do a whole thing as we talked about. I don't know. So, yeah. Vindy. Oh, fuck y'all. I was pretending to cry that entire I time. Care, Vindy. No, I thought you were like Florida making Vindy. rat sniffing noises. You no, I was hair. trying to make y'all think I was the like gonna crying. Put because y'all were mean to me, and nobody he's fucking cares about the hair. He's smelling the hair he's going to put in his teeth. Okay, I give it. <sighs> 9 out of 10. I like it a lot. This is probably easy my favorite season. I meant to mention this earlier. Something I really like is that um, Hachime and Yukino, like, interact, like, not at all this season until, like, really... This episode is like when we finally get a season. Well, because they interacting. fucking blow their, they it's they fucking edged us for no, the entire I, season. I I I, I know why. Yeah. I I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That it's it's good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cool I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry, like Vinny. I'm sorry. Um, it's <laughs> badass. Um, and I liked that. I thought it was really good. This episode. The show didn't make me cry, but this episode had me, like, really happy and, like, jovial and laughing. And so, for that, you know what? Let's deny it. It's really enjoyable. I like the show a lot. Whose turn is it? That's it. You. Whose turn is it? Squeak, squeak. Whose turn is it? Anyway. Um, I just said it was your turn. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. And the literal... See, here's the oh, problem, Crabstorf. Mm-hmm. No, no, no! Shut yeah, the fuck so up! So the I reason why, you so I would. Get, You're always uh, like, "Oh, Vindy, you forget where you are." The one who never has to forget is what, because he could just crap, wait till the other two joke. go and Vindy, go. He could Vindy. have forgotten when he goes. It never oh matters God. because two people go before him. Vindy, it's it's Vindy. I remember where you I don't say want to hear it. From you. I remember when you say it. So if I'm remembering yours on top of also when I go, you're fucking stupid. Anyway, um. Wow, you know, craps is first and you're last. It's so easy to figure oh out. Oh my god, Vindy! But if that's there. the thought process I have, then how come it's so hard for you to figure out when you go? <laughs> I, I love how this I, has probably been a joke since bef- like the first episodes, like the backlog episodes, and you know we've been recording a year and we're still making this joke. The part that pisses me off is I know when no, I you- go now. It's not a thing anymore where I just pause. I go, wait, when do I go? Most of the time, I don't say anything. It's because I'm either not sure if the person's done or like the last oh, backlog where Crash is being really shut mean. Making excuses. And I was worried that he was making mad at me excuses. and I was scared to talk. This is what it is. Anyway, so I gave the show a 9 out of 10. This is probably my favorite season of the show. If only because cause it did fucking destroy me. Because I, 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 I don't me, know even? if you've noticed, but I like penultimate... Or a fucking no, I'm using the wrong term wrong again. Crashers <laughs> gonna make fun of me for not knowing the English language again, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop there. I I like and I like end game arcs right a lot. So like th- this season fucking hit that shit for me. But like I like I liked this season a lot, and I think mainly it's because the ending of this is probably one of the best endings I've seen in a long time. Right, I loved the ending to this to this show. And, like, that's the one thing it definitely has over season two, was that, like, season two ended with a cliffhanger. 
even though it had episode eight. A multiple year yeah. cliffhanger. And this one for and, people who weren't me and watched the show this year. And this yeah. and this isn't and, and this was a fucking like masterful fucking end. And that, so like I loved it. It was worth the fucking wait. Because I watched this show when it first I watched it as it was coming out. So this is fucking worth the wait. Good shit. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to, I can't wait to fucking make a video on it. <laughs> It needs a video because people are really stupid about it. So, well, one of the people who made a video on it thinks the subtext in the first two seasons is really deep and and full of you know hidden double meaning. When really it's just a bunch of dumb kids being dumb kids. But anyway, <laughs> sad. Uh, All right, play the OP for Enter Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. It's fucking time. Sumi time, boys. Mommy showed back Sumi. up. What's favorite? She showed back up. What's favorite in this episode? Right, Crab Sport? Yeah, Mommy was oh. there. Okay, yeah. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. We're gone. Bye. Bye. This episode gave us one for the sheets and one for the streets. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? What did he fucking say? What the I repeated the joke I made last time where I said, except this time I said, this episode gave us one, uh, one for the sheets and one for the streets. Oh my fucking! Because it gave us Sumi and it gave us Meow Mommy. I hate you oh, so, so much. Fucking funny. You know what? That's so fucking funny, Craftsdorf. Holy shit! <laughs> Sumi's okay. Third girl, third best. I'm leaving now. Bye. I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye. <laughs> I'm gonna bully her. Do, and make do you her disagree with me? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I okay. love her. She was adorable. Okay. Look, y'all are both stupid and dumb. Look, and wrong. okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. Why would I like a girl that can't even talk? What? It, how is because, she gonna hit me? Because when I how make her scream, it's me? better. So that, okay, so how so, is she gonna so, call so, me names? So 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 how is she gonna so, tell me so, I so, kill so, myself? So, so, no, At no, what no, point Vinny, is Vinny, this girl Vinny, good? Vinny, Vinny, be quiet, because I want to say this before before I get branded as part of the part of this man's fucking ideology. Because I do not I do not adhere to this man's ideology. This man's ideology. It's my tastes. Mm, 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 my mm, tastes mm, is like my tongue running down her cheek and stop her with tears. Why are y'all so? No, like no, no. The ugliest of the three. No, no. Vinny, Vinny, make him stop. Make him stop. Make him stop. All right. So, okay. I like you said three, it, okay. like you're purposely excluding mommy. No, no, no. I actually meant to say four. <laughs> if we take all four girls and we're, we rate them just by looks, Sumi. Sumi's, the, Sumi's no. last. No. No. It no. literally Wrong. is Wrong. Mizuhara, Wrong. Wrong. Ruka, Wrong. Mommy, Wrong. Sumi. Wrong. In that order. Wrong. Which is Wrong. Wrong. Mommy Wrong. And Sumi. Wrong. 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 Uh, I'd wrong, actually wrong, maybe wrong, swap mommy wrong, and Ruka. Wrong, Vinny, wrong, 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 wrong. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm wrong, not wrong. Wrong, 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 in wrong. In terms Look. of literally, in terms of just no, endurance. No, right? wrong, wrong, this. wrong, wrong. Vinny, wrong, wrong. I'm not Vinny, wrong. Listen, I'm literally not. I'm if we're going by this, pa- if we're if we're doing fucking um, if we're doing look scaling, Vindy, the show itself confirms that she is on the uh, Sumi's on the same league as Shizuru. No, 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 no. Literally. Literally, Here's the problem. It, you're listening to an insult. No, 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 you're no, 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 no,
If burner you proof lies on you. you burner proof lies on you. 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 No, 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 no. That means she's not that hot. That means she's definitely not that hot. I'm reading a manga. Burner proof lies on you. Burner proof lies on you. No, 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 no. Burner proof lies on you. It lies on you because you're the one saying she's not that hot. No, 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 no. I'm saying that I haven't seen it. You're the one saying she does, so you have to show me those scans. Ninety-nine point nine point nine 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 nine. Wait. How do you have a decimal Shut up. decimal? No, I misspoke. <laughs> Fuck you. Man, this is this is so crazy. Yeah, I was gonna remove it from the audio, but you said something, you asshole. What? Well, well, anyway, okay. Wait, so you only remove when you say wow, that? Wow, that's so Stop. toxic, Craft Dwarf. That's so toxic. That's favoritism. Okay, Maddox. <laughs> anyway, okay, so can I be serious for a goddamn second? No, I, that's on you. When Only Sumi you shows Sumi up, okay, badass. when Sumi shows up every time we rent a girlfriend, that's when big shit hits the fan. That's when, like, big stuff in the story happens. And what happened this episode? Fucking mommy found out about the rent a girlfriend shit. She fucking knows. Yeah, she's a fucking cunt. Can I say that on YouTube? I okay, no, no, no. Right? So they did something interesting. So I'm kind of like... I raised my score of this adaptation to from like a six that I had it to a seven because like they added the scene that I talked about where they removed it. They just moved, they just moved it forward, right? Yeah, which I brought up as like, or I, I sometimes bring up as like, well, they could always adapt it later, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. did because I even saw her with the pillow, and it's like, hey, this looks like the manga panels I saw. Yeah, they combined the two. Um, they, they combined two scenes, which is really cool. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So like, I I think it actually does fit better in this in this episode. Because it really, and you know what, respect to them, because I'm thinking back on it, this scene actually does work way better. Like, now that it combines well, cause like, Because, see, yeah, no, I thought about it, because, like, I did have that. I'm curious as to how it reacted to this episode without the context, because you explained the scene from before. And it would be interesting, because the way Mommy acts in, like, the first, when she first sees Sumi and Kazuya and stuff, makes sense make if you, you have... Call her a, mommy? Shut the fuck up. It makes sense if, um, like, you have the context of the previous scene that they cut... But without that context, at least it seems kind of weird at first, you know, or it would, I would think, I, you know, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I, I kind of knew what happened in the scene, you know, so like, so then seeing her act unusually and then getting context into why she's acting that way with the scene after that would, it might've been inter- interesting and that's kind of what the adaptation did. But, you know, again, I didn't have the full, I, I did have some of that manga no, context. So, it definitely does make um, it more interesting you as, a, as, as a first time viewer. It makes it more interesting when you have both those scenes combined. Because this entire time you're wondering what her deal is, and then finally you get it, and you're like, "Oh, she fucking likes him still, right? She's just a petty fucking she's a petty fucking ex who does who likes him, but wants wants him to only be hers and like you know shit like that. She's toxic basically. So like, right? So when she saw Sumi, she was like, "Oh wait, huh? He can get like he's not a, he's, he, he's he's not a loser not, like a desperate loser. He can get multiple girls like he's got she, had me and now he has that is, like two zero and now Sumi. But then of course he fi- she finds I've been th- rental girlfriends. Yeah. I've been thinking about um, what Vindy said that like the end game of what's gonna happen at the very end of Rent a Girlfriend is that mommy's gonna turn to a Rent a Girlfriend. And, and the thing in the back of mind, it's like that might honestly correct be the best conclusion for her because that's what she wants. She like what Rent a Girlfriend? Well, like because. I- I mentioned in the OP, there's like text messages that seem like they're from mommy about how like, oh, the rental girlfriend, it's just fake. How can you like she doesn't seem to get it where so it makes sense that a part of her arc would be getting it. Because if she's someone who only cares about the real and doesn't see any value in the, the again, the fantasy role play environment that is rental girlfriends, then her getting there would be make sense as an arc. Yeah, you know, because um, what rental girlfriend does, like I think it's like rental girlfriend's entire thing is using the using the fake to advance someone towards the real. That's like an entire yeah. like right, which was especially blatant in the last episode. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and in this episode, because in, in this episode too, right, where it's like even the rent a girlfriends use the rent a girlfriend system to get better, right? Advance themselves, yeah. right? Like Chizu uses for acting, and Sumi uses it. To, well, because she's like she wanted to change as a person, so she's using the rental girlfriend to like make herself into a character that fits that system and change you know yeah um, and like so. and then and, and there's um fucking ruka who like wanted to feel something real by like uh, by like feel like fi- like going through this fake thing thinking that like oh it's just the game there's no there's no strings attached basically and she wanted right so like that's something interesting because like mommy is this one character who like already kind of does that like like keeps people on like honest people like keeps kazuya at like arm's length because she wants him there but doesn't but doesn't want to give him what he wants 
But then she sees that, like, oh, this man's base. She's like, oh, wait, he's a Chad? What the fuck? And she's, like, fucking bothered by that shit. She's like, oh, no, he doesn't need me anymore. And then, like, she's like, God, oh. Why won't Mizuhara kiss me? Okay, well, we all do. Um, God, there... <laughs> Um, I saw that there there was like a translation thing, right? So I'm um, like I'm um, Steve Stephen Weirdy on Twitter fucking posted it. It was like that like one of the subtitles said she's the souls of rent a girlfriends, and then fucking like he the next thing he just and then the next screen cap was just him dropping the show because it's that fucking translation the souls of rent a girlfriends, but like no Sumi genuinely in the manga only shows up during like really big points of the story. Oh, good. So I don't have I'm to see her very often. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Whew. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Man, gonna... Bindi just like, you know, aiming to be the worst. You're such ever. a piece of shit. You are terrible. <laughs> You're a terrible streamer and a terrible YouTuber. I fucking hate. You. Just kidding. Oh, I'm a terrible streamer. Okay, I'm streaming right now. Then. <laughs> I haven't streamed yet today. Jesus Christ. So he's gonna start fucking like just as we're wrapping up the Weep Club. I've done it before. Yeah, he has done it before because he's <laughs> you know, toxic. You have, yeah. But yeah. But I mute y'all's audio so they he's don't so hear you. So fucking toxic. So regardless, though, right? So like, um, God, he's fucking typing now. Good luck taking this shit out of the audio. But like, um, yeah, this episode because like Sumi is in- is interesting because like her entire thing with where she doesn't talk right, everything is like because. Um, the way I'm going to be wording it in my, cause I'm making a video on this. It should be out this weekend. Cause I'm going to be using the footage from the last episode in the video is that like every girl does a different, has a different function, how it develops, like not just the other girls, but also like also Kazuya himself. And like Kazuya is forced to be in like this assertive position because he's with Sumi because she, he has to like help her come out of her shell. Right. He has to be in- so he he has to be stop he has to stop being closer to Sumi because otherwise then no, nothing would move so he has to be he has to change too is yeah what he you're has saying. to that be he has to be like more of a dominant person out dominant like you know be a fucking man and like help like because she because like there's that scene right I guess yeah because that makes sense because he's kind of being a rent a boyfriend for her yeah to help her change you know because like she he's not here as a client he's here like as a trainer almost yeah. like as which would be you know like again to fo- kind of training her to be a better girlfriend yeah you know, or to, so uh, with fantasy makes ha- him a chad is what you're yeah saying. literally that's what what happens every time every time there's a sumi chapter kazi becomes more of a fucking chad i mean so i mean in this cha- episode he did like he helped her with the the guys who are has- hassling God, her okay and, you know, so that scene the, that, that trope that scene was <laughs> great because it was like it highlights something about him too was that like they're all fucking? He just doesn't give no, a they're fuck, all, dude. I, I respect no, that. Like, they're shit. all fucking like shitting on him. He doesn't give a fuck, and then he says this line. He's like, "Man, I'm fucking used to hot girls clinging to my arm." Yeah, bitch. <laughs> it's, it's like, shit. <laughs> like that's like that's a that's a fucking. I'm used to hot girls clinging to my dick. I'm I mean, um, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know. I just say shit sometimes. Just okay. He almost did. He almost I did that one time. Fucking love that. Fucking Chad Hero, the uh, yeah, his friend, yeah, Kuri, who was yeah, Kuri talking Hara, yeah. about how he was talking about how what's the best oh, thing mind. in the world is it having sex with a girl? It's jerking off after having sex. And I was like, you know what? Like, salute to you, brother. No, but no. Yes, sir. True yes, sir. friendship, Chad shit was in Kuri uh, when it, like. When the, the one friend was like, "Oh, Curry! Oh no, I'm talking about no, Chad." No, okay, friend. no, okay, no. But true Chad shit. Curry's shut the fuck up. Shut the either. fuck up. So true Chad shit was when like he was like when the one friend was like, "Yeah, fucking, you gotta have sex with uh, Mizuhara," and then Kurihara's like, Kurihara's like backing him up and shit. That, that was fucking Chad shit right there. That was friendship power. That was good shit. God, next episode. Curry looks like fucking a chip. Look. He looks oh like he should be the fourth Alvin in the chip. And you're a right? fucking rat. So I don't know what the fuck does that say about you, fucking Theodore. I'm the better kind of rodent. Did you just call me Theodore because I'm fat? Was that a yes, joke? Yes, Theodore. Craft Shorts over here looking like Simon, so like, guess I'm Alvin then. Shit. No! I'm you're fucking the short Alvin. One, so I'm you're fucking Theodore. Alvin. I'm fucking you're Alvin. The one, Shut the fuck up, Theodore. 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 Thank you for the season. No, 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 no,
Nanmanji is one of the hot female no. chipmunks. So oh my fuck! Nanmanji knows what happens next episode is Chadley, and if that's where they're ending the show, fucking amazing way to end it because that that they better end it on Mizuhara taking all her clothes off. And I hate you. Vindy be like, I'm not a furry. Then be Vindy be like, Oh, hot Alvin and the chipmunks. Crap Lady Storm, chipmunks I hate characters. this man. I hate this. She's not Crap hot. Storm, I hate this man. She's hot because Vindy. Crap Storm, I hate this man. Can we kick him out? It's not about Crash having sex with a chipmunk, it's about having sex with a at any cost. Can we kick right, him out? Thank you for listening. Um, uh, we'll see you guys next I time. I hate this man. For the last What's wrong with you? I hate you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>